So the snow's back then, remember this? Slipping on the pavement, stuck in the car, everything grinds to a halt. So does it send you into a pit of misery or are you pretty excited about dusting down the sledge and knocking up a snowman? Well, Kent Snow Centre in Ashford have been thinking about the white stuff since last winter, which was the worst one for 30 years. So are they ready for another massive whiteout if it happens? Last year we used 28,000 tonnes of salt. In an average year we might use 14,000. So that was a lot of salt last year. We also used 14,000 tonnes of, of sand. We've certainly learnt lessons from last year. In terms of salt, we never ran out of salt in Kent because we took a decision very early on to conserve our salt stocks, to mix them with a grit solution, and that was very effective across the county. We've got 66 gritters, and they're located across the county. We've got eight depots from which we run a salt and service, so we're well covered across the whole of the county. Kent County Council has nearly 4,000 kilometres of roads to cover when the snow hits, with A and B roads as a priority, and then town centres and this year, pavements. We prioritise those because those are the heart of the Kent network. We want to make sure we keep those open so people can get around around the county. So we'll always do those first. And then the secondary routes are also important roads, which link into those main roads. The weather is monitored 24 hours a day from 12 weather stations across the county. It doesn't just show up the air temperature, but more importantly, the road temperature, so the gritters can get out and about before it hits freezing. This year we're, we're trialling smaller vehicles. They're sort of transit-sized vehicles, which will have a pod on the back that can hold... The, the, the salt. We have got a network of farmers, we've got over 180 farmers that we work with around the county and that's been really successful over the years with clear and rural roads but we do recognise that some of our rural roads we just don't have the resources to get out and do them all.